Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is about fixing the issue while playing the Valorant game. You got an error when restriction your account does not meet the following requirements in order to play enable HVCI. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. In this video, I'm going to provide you a step by step guide on how to fix this particular secure boot or TPM error. So first of all, the basic step. If you have installed DOSBox or MASM, make sure you completely uninstall these two programs, MASM as well as DOSBox. Nextly, if your BIOS is not up to date, you need to update your BIOS by heading over to your motherboard manufacturer website. There is another way also by going to the settings menu, click on the option Windows Update, scroll down and you will find the option of advanced options. Click on it. And under optional features, you will find driver update and if any kind of firmware update is available, select it and choose the option download and install. This will update your BIOS. So if updating your BIOS and uninstalling these programs doesn't help you fix out the issue, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu, choose option run. Type here MS Info 32 and then hit the enter key. Now your system information will be available over here. Now in system information, you need to find two things. First one is BIOS mode and second one is secure boot state. Your BIOS mode must be UEFI as it is showing right over here and your secure boot state must be on. Now if your BIOS mode is UEFI and secure boot state is on and still getting the error, you need to open your Windows security. Now in Windows security from the left pane, click on the option device security and click on the option core isolation details. Now if memory integrity is turned off, you need to turn it on as it is showing right over here. Now if you are getting any kind of error while turning on the memory integrity like you are getting an error of incompatible driver. To fix this issue, I have a dedicated tutorial. If you are getting this kind of error, incompatible driver doesn't let you turn on the memory integrity in this window security, watch this particular tutorial. This will help you turn on the memory integrity into your system and once memory integrity is turned on, try to play the game again to fix out the issue of when restrictions enable HVCI, secure boot or TPM error. Now here is the next step. If your BIOS board is MBR, it is not UEFI. If it is MBR, you need to change your BIOS board from MBR to UEFI. To do so, you need to run your system into the recovery environment and I highly recommend to do a backup of your important files because this process may lead to loss in your data. Generally, there is no data loss, but I highly recommend every users of my videos to do a backup so that if in case, if there is any kind of data loss, you can easily backup your data or else here I have a dedicated tutorial to recover your data if anyhow there is any kind of data loss from your hard disk. So I'll go ahead and proceed by changing the BIOS mode from MBR to UEFI. Now to convert your BIOS mode from MBR to GPD, head over to your settings menu. In settings menu, if you have Windows 10, choose update and security or if you have Windows 11, simply click on the option system from the left pane. Again in Windows 10, click on the option recovery and again if you have Windows 11, right in the system menu, you will find the option of recovery. Now click on the option restart now. The option will be same in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. This will restart your system into the recovery mode. Now in the recovery mode, choose the option reset your PC or advanced options. Now click on the option advanced options and choose the option command prompt. Select your account, enter the password of your account to open the command prompt into your system. Now before proceeding, again I am telling you to make a backup of your data because this process may lead to loss of your data, it may format your hard disk. So I highly recommend to do a backup of your data. Now I hope you have taken the backup. Now here you need to type in two commands one by one. First one is mbr to gpt space slash validate space slash allow full OS and then hit the enter key. Now once validation is successful, type in another command 
एम बी आर टू जी पी टी स्पेस लैश कन्वर्ट एंड देन हिट द एंटर की दिस प्रोसेस विल टेक सम टाइम एंड वंस द प्रोसेस इज कंप्लीटेड योर हार्ड डिस्क विल बी कंप्लीटेड फ्रॉम एम बी आर टू यू ई एफ आई मोड एंड वंस द सिस्टम इज टर्न ऑन और चेंज टू यू ई एफ आई मोड रिस्टार योर सिस्टम अपडेट योर बायोस एंड दिस विल कंप्लीटली फिक्स आउट द इश्यू नाउ आफ्टर चेंजिंग द बायोस मोड टू यू ई एफ आई चेक योर सिक्योर बूट स्टेट If it is not on or if it is showing over here off, you need to turn on your secure boot by entering into the BIOS menu. Again, for this, I have already created a dedicated tutorial. Watch this detailed tutorial, and this will help you turn on the secure boot state right into the BIOS menu. In your BIOS menu, you will find two options. Either you will get the option of secure boot, or you will find the option of CSM or both. If you are not able to turn on the secure boot, you need to first of all turn off the csm mode and after turning off csm mode you will find the option of secure boot to turn it on turn on the secure boot and after turning on again make sure to update your bios and after updating your bios your bios mode is turned to uefi and your secure boot state is turned on after doing these two changes again open up windows security go to device security again make sure that the core isolation memory integrity must be turned on after doing these changes make sure to restart your pc and then relaunch the game and this will completely fix out the issue of when restrictions your account does not meet the following requirement in order to play enable hvci so as of now this is all about it friends if this video works out for you i request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching